to all of my new subscribers that have joined over the last month and a half. There's about 330 of you at this point. I want to say thank you for taking a chance on a uh, new Yankees channel. Uh, I look forward to making more content. I've enjoyed the content that I've made so far. You can look forward to a weekly podcast. But also, I want to give you a little preview of something I'm going to be working on all season. Uh, You're going to see a little bit of it now, and then you'll see the entire thing at the end of the season. A full-length documentary, hopefully over an hour, maybe two hours long, uh, covering the Yankees season from start to finish, from the beginning of the offseason through the end of hopefully the World Series. If the Yankees win it all, I'm going to call it 28. If they don't win it all, I'll have to come up with some other kind of title. Disappointment. That type of thing. But here you go. Uh, This is tentatively Chase for 28. Here's a quick preview. I want to invite you to subscribe, like this channel, follow all that good stuff uh, that the kids say, all that social media pizzazz. Here we go. The Yankees, who are clearly going to be aggressive, are going to go after one of these pitches, but at what level? Would they get into a bidding war for Cole? I mean, the Yankees made him a target. So did the Angels, so did the Dodgers. And Aaron Boone and this team has come close the last two years, 100-plus wins. What does this do for them? I think this makes them the best team in the American League. I think it makes them the best team in baseball. Ravi, as we know, they have waited for years, hung on to their money, hung on to their prospects, waiting for that big free agent to come along, and this was him. I would just like to say, I'm here. (laughs) I've always been here. I'm just glad that Brett didn't have to make a tough decision here, right? The Yankees came to him, showed him some respect with the money. You broke down the financial part of it. So Brett Garner doesn't have to make a tough decision and say, I, I've got to go somewhere else. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. He's a lifelong Yankee. I'm sure he wants to retire a Yankee. He had a very productive year on the field, and now he gets another shot to try to win another World Series. We've heard reports about Astros players wearing buzzers underneath their uniforms. That's how they're getting the signal, what pitch is coming. I know the commissioner's office looked into this and they determined there was nothing to it. Can you assure us there were no buzzers or anything like that being Well, the commissioner, we got investigated for three months and the commissioner's office did as thorough an investigation as anyone could imagine was possible. I mean, I know he mentioned uh, the emails and the texts and the messages, um, and I believe him. Sorry, that's not good enough. There's one answer to that. We never use buzzers, ever. Not the commissioner's office investigator. Did you use buzzers or not? Sox have been looking for a deal, right? They've been shopping about, look, here's what he got. What was it about? This one that made it the one. 